Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Ron. Thank you for stopping by. Today I wanted to talk to you about Betaflight 4.1 and a common problem many of you may actually run into. If you've been following my channel, you know I've crashed my FPV last week. And since then I replaced the ESC and I thought I also needed to replace a new flight controller as well because the flight controller wasn't responding when connected to the beta flight configurator 10.6.0. However, since that time, everything's up and running. My Rotoriot HD1 is fully repaired, ESC replaced. I don't need a new flight controller, but I do have one on standby for the future. Now this is the part you want to pay attention to because if your flight controller ever has the symptoms I'm going to reference, uh, there's a good chance this video is going to save you some time, some money, and quite a bit of stress. When you connect your quad to Betaflight Configurator and you're in the main setup screen, like I'm showing here, if your Calibrate Accelerometer button is grayed out and you're also noticing all your UARTs are missing from the ports menu, like I'm showing here, well, don't worry. This video is exactly what you're looking for. More than likely, you just flashed the wrong Betaflight firmware to your flight controller, and all you need to do is reflash it to the correct firmware. Now, this is where I messed up personally, because I thought I had the right firmware on my Hobbywing flight controller stack, but actually I didn't. I was watching some older Joshua Bardwell videos, and he was talking about how to flash the firmware on your flight controller. However, what I didn't realize being new to the hobby was that Betaflight 4.1 had only recently come out, and apparently Betaflight 4.0 reads slightly different in showing the Betaflight firmware you'll need to download from the CLI. Now, if you're upgrading from an older Betaflight 4.0 to the newer Betaflight 4.1, I'd recommend one of Joshua, Joshua's Betaflight videos for that. What I'm talking about in this video is simply reflashing Betaflight 4.1 on your flight controller or pushing a newer Betaflight firmware version to your flight controller, which is already running 4.1 on it. I hope all that makes sense. I just want to be clear that everything in this video is specific to the flight controllers already on Betaflight version 4.1 and not a flight controller on the older 4.0 versions. I need to be clear on this because this is where the confusion for me came in. Now, don't worry, you're not going to lose your configuration or ruin your flight controller flashing your firmware. I flashed the wrong firmware on my Hobbywing flight controller. I can't tell you how many times and it's working just fine. So don't worry about that. Now I'm gonna make the assumption that if you're watching this video, you've already got what's called the Betaflight Configurator 10.6.0 already installed on your computer. As of this video upload, the Betaflight Configurator 10.6.0 is the most current version available of the configurator. Betaflight configurator is different than your Betaflight firmware on your flight controller. So if you don't already have Betaflight configurator, configurator already installed on your PC, I'll again recommend you check out one of Joshua Bardwell's videos on this, and I'll leave links to that below. When it comes to Betaflight, he's still the expert. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, hopefully uh, you have a saved backup configuration of your flight controller, you'll want that backup to fully restore your flight controller to its original configuration. When I first got my flight controller, I did a diff all, D-I-F-F space A-L-L -L, command um, in the Betaflight configurator CLI, which gives me the information I need to fix this issue and reconfigure my flight controller. If you have that file, you should pull it up now. If you don't, you're going to you're gonna need to figure out what Betaflight firmware is recommended for your flight controller. It will probably be available on the manufacturer's website. You'll be able to fix uh, the problem with your flight controller, but without the original configuration saved somewhere, you're going to have to restore it manually. For the rest of us, if you look at the diff all file, like I'm showing here, you want the second line under the version section. This gives you the target file you need for flashing the firmware. In Betaflight 4.0, it was the first line in the version section, and that's where I messed up, and that's why my flight controller was missing information like UARTs and Betaflight configurator, and the Calibrate accelerometer was grayed out as well. With a flight controller running version 4.1, make sure you're grabbing the second line and not the first line. Once I selected Omnibus F4SD, and then it's in parentheses, 
AIRB as my target file, everything started working just fine. Now, from what I understand, the version command changed slightly in Betaflight 4.1 because a move to something called unified targets. Joshua, there's a whole video on unified or non-legacy versus non-unified targets or legacy targets. If you wanna know more about that topic, I'm gonna to leave a link to that below as well. Now, the main takeaway from this video is this, and this is the important part. You want the second line under the version section of the diff all file and not the first line for your flight controller running version 4.1. It's no longer that first line like it was in 4.0. All the YouTube videos I was watching referred to the first line and in turn I was flashing the wrong firmware to my flight controller. I couldn't find a single YouTube video referencing the proper file to grab under the newest version of Betaflight 4.1. Now, now that you have uh, the correct firmware version on your flight controller, you can restore your backup configuration from the CLI by just pasting it in. Then once you paste it, type save and exit, and you should be back in business. I spent a good week troubleshooting this issue, and it was such an easy fix, so I hope this video helps a few of you out should you also run into this issue. Again, Joshua Bardwell does a great job with his whole playlist of videos on Betaflight. The problem was trying to pull all the information together and make sense of it all as I'm, again, new to the FPV hobby. I also noticed that you'll see the proper target file in Betaflight Configurator in the upper left-hand corner as well. The firmware version in the, in the upper left-hand corner seems to match what you'll see in the diff all command of the CLI. So this would be another sanity check to ensure you're downloading the right firmware. Just take a screenshot of this and save it for future reference should you need it. Trust me, it'll come in handy. If you have time, go back and check out Joshua Bardwell's entire playlist videos on Betaflight to get the bigger picture. But just uh, remember, things have changed slightly in Betaflight 4.1, and your target file is now that second line of the version section. And now I have an extra flight controller on hand. It was only $30, so uh, not so bad as I might need it for a future build. I got my FPV class coming up tomorrow, actually, so stay tuned for that. Melissa's gonna join me and do a little filming for me. Oh, and I actually got a second Rotor Riot HD1 FPV on the way, so I can have one in the air and one on the bench for future crashes, because we know what's gonna happen. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to say also, um, don't be afraid to jump in FPV, guys. We're all in this together, and I'm uh, certainly showing you the day-to-day -day struggles with getting up in the air and getting started. Um, it can't be any worse than I'm doing. I'm gonna focus a little more in the flight simulator and hopefully I have some new FPV, FPV videos coming out real soon. Um, again, I've got a training class tomorrow, very specific, actually one-on-one -on -one specific to flying FPV. So that's really gonna come in handy. I can honestly say at this point, I got the build and repairs down in just a few weeks. I could rip this entire quad apart and feel confident I could put it right back together. So I'm not as concerned with crashing it as I once was. I got the built, I got the bind and fly unit, as you guys know who follow my channel. So it was already pre-built when I got it. So I was a little worried about crashing it, but at this point I've torn this whole thing apart, put it back together, reconfigured it, and uh, it's really not that bad. So the only thing I really have left to do here is learn how to fly this thing, or actually both my FPVs. Actually, that might make a good t-shirt. I'm thinking about doing some apparel, so hopefully you guys all have a sense of humor. I've got some really good ideas for some t-shirts and maybe some hoodies um, and other types of apparel coming out. If you've got any funny quotes for a t-shirt, let me know in the comments below. I might, just, uh, I might just use it if it's an original idea and I do use it, I'll send you a free t-shirt. But it can't be some of the quotes I've seen out there already. It's gotta be an original quote um, that we've not seen before. So that's kind of a caveat. Origi I want original ideas for the t-shirts. And if it's an original idea, I'll send you a free one if I use it. So thanks for hanging in there with me. I'm enjoying the support and the encouragement from everyone. So thank you. It is very much appreciated. That's it. If you got any value out of this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell for future notifications. It's always appreciated. So until next time, take care, happy flying. And remember, we got this guys. Oh, and if you're still here, here's just a couple of the ideas I had for maybe putting together some shirts. You might have seen these before, but I, I, I was trying to come up with some original ones. 
Uh, one of the shirts is going to be a new logo, I think, with We Got This. I think that's a, a good one. Uh, another one I was thinking of was, no, my wife doesn't know how expensive this drone was. Um, another one was warning, may start talking about drones. Oh, here was a good one. FPV, where you spend 99% of your time in repair and maintenance and 1% of your time actually flying. I thought that one was pretty good. I think one of my favorites, this is probably one of my favorites. Drones make me happy, you not so much. But that was kind of kind of good. If you liked any of those, let me know. Like I said, I'm thinking about doing some shirts, some apparel. If you got some original ideas, let me know, guys. Take care.